STEM means S for science, T for technology, E for engineering, and uh, M for mathematics. It was an assembly for students in grade one through grade eight. The original challenge was taking a look at how are humans and animals allied together. The project was to identify a problem and then to explore solutions. We had some classes do an art project where they explored how humans and animals interacted with each other. We had some classes go and look at it through literacy and create some persuasive essays. We had other classes look at it through computer programming and create computer programs that took their essays and then presented it through various animations. The best part was looking at everybody's work. It was so amazing, like they worked so hard on it and they did such a good job. It kind of brought out the ways you can think about something. I saw a lot of creative ideas. The grade three fours related it to a story that we all know, the three little pigs. You wouldn't really think of a food chain in the three little pigs, usually, but they really like presented it and I thought they did really well. For me, this was a very hard decision, but I figured out we shouldn't have zoos because my program was about a fish. So the fish and the clam were having a bit of a conversation about do you like zoos or do you not like zoos? It was a no because you have a small little tank and if you're in the wild you you can just swim wherever you want. You don't have to like stay in some small space. Lanner as a STEM center we focus on the engineering design process. We also have a robotics program here where students are working with robots, building, programming them, and we also do computer programming for students to start to build on those 21st century learning skills. I really love the ones that the grade eight did. It was very creative and artistic. It was trying to showcase how um, the animals coexist with us in our community. I think some people feel differently with the raccoons and coyotes in our community, and um, some people feel well and safe. Um, some people feel afraid that uh, they might be attacked. We use STEM in the project in a lot of ways. Uh, science, graphs, data collecting, engineering, we used how sturdy the trees had to be. Technology we used for recording, research taking pictures, and mathematics, how much paper you need and how big we wanted them to be. You know, it was fantastic to see where they were all presented with the same problem, but to see the different ways that that problem could be explored. There is no right way to do something, so students are then pushed to evaluate their thinking and build on a growth mindset and move away from a fixed mindset of I can't do this and push themselves a little bit further.